The water supply reservoir is designed to capture water whenever we're having normal weather or even flooding weather so that we have that water stored there when we enter drought conditions. We've had some fairly serious droughts here in Texas over the last 10 years and it's because of the water supply reservoirs that we actually had water to keep our power plants running, to keep electricity going to our homes, and to keep our faucets running. People want us to maintain the lake levels at our reservoirs. The lake levels fluctuate for varying reasons, uh, primarily uh, drought conditions. That's the time that the water's needed from the reservoirs. We're totally relying upon rainfall and inflows. If we don't get those rainfalls or inflows in the right location, the lake level will vary. We manage those reservoirs in such a fashion that we can meet the water supply needs for our industrial customers, for our municipal customers, for our ag and mining customers, uh, but we're also very mindful of the ecological needs of water in the downstream river. So we're very sensitive to the environment, we're very sensitive to the water supply needs of our customers, and we have the experts on our staff that spend the time to balance those needs and understand the impacts to both our customers, the reservoir levels, and the water flowing in the river. What may be a surprise to everyone is that our largest customer is evaporation. And we lose more than twice what we sell to our customers to evaporation every year. In the summertime, we can have as much as a half inch per day of water level changes just from evaporation. And that's something that a lot of people don't realize when we're talking about water use, uh, particularly in droughts uh, when the lake's going down. The natural tendency of a lot of people is to think that it's, it's all human use and consumption, uh, but a lot of it is evaporation. There are times when water levels get high and we have to ensure that the water levels don't go above the top of the gates at each one of our reservoirs. We make the decisions to release water during flood times based on science. A lot of times we're just going to be matching our releases to what those inflow rates are. So in other words, however much water is coming into the reservoir, that's what we're passing downstream. And we're communicating with the folks downstream by a number of mechanisms. You know, One being our downstream call list that's uh, available to folks on an individual basis. But we're also really active with our website and Facebook at posting our releases real time. The weather and the conditions of the river impact everything here. It's just something that we have to learn to live with and adjust to. We want to have a great relationship with the community because really our, our water supply is critical to all of us. That's why we're here is for the water supply and managing this reservoir safely. We all want the same thing. <laughs>